Today I want to talk about some of the uh, typical summer annual weeds that we see in our landscapes. Uh, I, I want to spend a few minutes talking about uh, how to identify some of these and some of the distinguishing characteristics uh, on how we can tell them, them apart. Uh, the first set of weeds I want to talk about are the perennial weeds. And I, I like to make this distinguish or distinguish this because uh, it, it makes a difference on how we try to manage or, or control these weeds. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is honey vine milkweed. And we can see an example uh, of that here. And this is a pretty typical situation. We, late in the summer, uh, in our landscape scenarios, we get these weeds growing up over the top, um, over the top of our shrubs, uh, in landscape beds, and, all, and uh, areas like that. And the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the leaf shape or identifying uh, uh, some of the characteristic leaf shapes on these on these plants. Uh, honey vine milkweed, uh, the leaves are opposite on the stem and that's in contrast to the others I'm going to talk about. And you'll see here that it's a it's a very long narrow leaf with rounded lobes uh, at the back uh, of the leaf on the on the back side and if the when the plant matures it tends to get a very deep green uh, color uh, with some the veins in the plants in the plant leaves are are very white now we contrast that with uh, with uh, field bindweed and hedge bindweed. And those leaves are opposite on the stems. And uh, hedge bindweed uh, tends to have very squared uh, uh, lobes on the back of the plant. And field bindweed tends to have uh, very small uh, wings on the edge uh, of the plant. So those are some real uh, distinguishing characteristics on, that, on those. What, what we like to see uh, when we uh, have these perennials in our beds, is, in our landscapes, is uh, typically the best way to control these plants is with chemicals because they uh, survive and grow from rootstocks and rhizomes uh, down deep in the ground. And if we use a product like Roundup or any of the broadleaf killers, uh, that you find in uh, home, home improvement stores. And we use the technique where in a situation like this, it's tough to spray on there. If we use a, a glove or a sponge or something like that and just touch these leaves with the herbicide, uh, uh, if you touch a number of the leaves, uh, that's enough to uh, translocate to the roots and uh, do a good job at, at killing those, those weeds. Okay, the next, uh, the next species we're going to talk about are all annuals, and some of the more common ones that we have around here in Nebraska are burr cucumber, ivy leaf morning glory, and tall morning glory. And the example we, we're standing in front of here is burr cucumber, and it's a pretty distinct leaf. It has almost five sides, uh, basically five sides to the leaf, and a lot of these climbing plants have uh, tendrils uh, on them that they use to wrap around stems and it helps in, in them uh, climbing up the, up the plant. Now the leaf shape on the ivy leaf morning glory is pretty distinct. It has typically has three uh, very distinct lobes on it. Once again the leaves are alternate uh, going up the stem. And then uh, on the tall uh, morning glory, uh, those leaves tend to be very round uh, to heart shaped on there. And when we, uh, when we see these, they, they become very evident. Um, controlling these uh, weeds, uh, a lot of times, uh, if we just simply pull the plants up because they come up from seed uh, every year, that will usually take care of them. If it's a very dense stand, we can also use the same Roundup or Broadleaf Killer that we talked about with the perennials. So hopefully we've uh, given you some information on the key identification characteristics of these common vine weeds in the landscape and giving you some ideas on how to either control them chemically or just uh, manually pull them. And that should take care of these vine weeds in your landscape.